Good afternoon, Neely Say Say Sa. Good afternoon, Andrew. <laughs> well, today we're going to watch Wales and Gummage. Okay. <laughs> that was rubbish, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. Uh, was possibly one of my worst impressions of Wurzel mm, ever. ever. <laughs> but with the exciting announcement uh, mm -hmm. that the film negatives mm -hmm. of the whole run of Wurzel and Gummage been have been found recently. Opening if, up the ways to a, a well, better copy, possibly. Much better, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Um, we thought we'd do a DVD commentary for episode one, mm -hmm. Wurzel's Washing Day. Yes. And our sort of uh, book of reference is, of course, the Wurzel book, mm -hmm. which informs us mm -hmm. that this episode was shown on the 25th of February 1979 at 5.30. Mm -hmm. But we're also going to briefly reference the original book, by Barbara Youth and Todd, mm -hmm. originally published, oh dear, where are we, a long time ago now, 1936. So, so there you go, that's how mm -hmm. that's how old Worsel is. Mm -hmm. But let's start the episode up, shall we, and uh, yeah. see what we have to say. Right, this mm -hmm. is the button, isn't it? That is the button, yeah. Using our new thing. There we go, mm -hmm. Worsel's washing day. Uh, oh God, you got a play it's program. A menu. There's a mm -hmm. menu, isn't there? We should have just played all I know, never mind. Right. But no mm. sign of the Southern logo, which no. is, a, is a shame. Don't chop you that you off. do get at the end, but yeah. you've got the establishing wide shot zooming mm -hmm. in on Wurzel. He looks mm. he looks at the camera and he pulls a face. Yes. Do you find that face creepy or not? Not really, not that um, one. No. I like the logo because it's got mm. all little roots coming out of it yeah. as, as though it's um, as though it's growing. So yeah. uh yes, it, Barbara Youth and Todd does get a credit, which is mm -hmm. nice, but it says based on the characters created by mm -hmm. Barbara Youth and Todd. Did now, they film this in 78? Um, I'd need to because look. Because it I'd looks need to really look. dry. It looks very dry. Well, I suppose they must have done. If it was shown... <laughs> Early 79. February 79, then yes, mm -hmm. this is summer 78. Yeah. Now, yes, it does look really dry, but how much of this is the fact that everything's a bit parched and how much mm -hmm. is the fact that these copies are really quite... Cool. They're sort of very sort of brown and yes, so, they're a bit bleached out, aren't, aren't they? we? So, so yes. there we are. The camera, the camera, the car pulls up, and basically <laughs> the whole sort of establishing thing is that John wants to go for a pee. Yes, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not quite sure how many uh, <laughs> um, sort of series have ever started with anybody wanting to go for a pee. Yes, but, but on the screen now we have Jeremy Austin. Yes, who plays John? Yeah, and in the car about to go in the bushes. In the bushes. <laughs> In the car we have Mike Berry, yes. his father, yeah. playing older than himself, yeah. and Charlotte Coleman. So there's the first shot of Wurzel, his yeah. arms sort of waving up and down a bit. It's, yeah. And of course John's a bit Freaked scared by that. But all of don't pee on his shoes. No, all, all of this stuff is um, extra to the book. Yes. Because the book um, yeah. doesn't have um, John and Sue's parents no, at no. all. They have had whooping cough. And they've been sent to the farm to recover, to recover basically. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But I, I, now, is it the, the car's a K registration car, so mm -hmm. that dates it back a bit. Here's the first mm -hmm. sign of Geoffrey Belden. As the crow man. As the crow man. And again, he's only in the book briefly, yeah. isn't he? Uh, so. Notice he's got his um, chimney sweep brush in the he back. Has. Yeah. It, it's Because one of his services, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. But there's Ratter. Aww. Isn't this the first Ratter? Don't they get yeah. a, a, they have to get a replacement, replacement Ratter? Yeah. Um, but yeah, because the, the doggy got too old, not possibly right. for another reason. Okay, but, okay. Yeah. but yeah, going mm -hmm. off to restuff Wurzel. Mm -hmm. Now he he says, um, sort of, let's see what the winter's done to you or something, mm -hmm. which implies that Wurzel's he's not seen Wurzel for ages. No, which is unusual because after mm -hmm. this he's sort of seeing him every week. Yeah. But Wurzel's head here looks too thin, doesn't it? It, it does. It's, it's the model yes. head. Yeah. And although it sort of looks like John Pertwee, it's a bit oh. emaciated. Yeah. There's the first oh, shot of the, the robin. of the robin. I yeah. like the good thing about this is because yes, that's an insert shot of a of a nest mm -hmm. made to look up like Wurzel's guts. Mm -hmm. uh, but it doesn't have because it's all shot on film. It doesn't have the um, some mothers do have them problem. No, where you'd you'd see baby Jessica on film on film, yeah. <laughs> and then you'd cut back to Frank. Yeah. On, on, on video, this is sort mm. of broken signpost. Yeah, and I always wonder what it meant to say on the on the other side. It mm. just says AD. AD, yeah. I, I, I don't know, but I love the fact mm. that their car is just completely overflowing with like, like rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, like folding chairs and, mm. and and things like this. This is a. I'm mm. not sure I'd have so. taken that with it. But and you, I can understand the necessity to have the. Um, 
Crow Man in it more than he's in the books. Yeah. Because it gives you an authority figure that Wurzel can be afraid of. Yeah. Because in the books, he's not really afraid of anybody, yeah. is he? Oh, yeah. So. Um, uh, Mike Berry's glasses occasionally reflecting the lights. Yeah. Uh, the, the lights from the film crew. Mm hmm. Uh, but yeah, this is the actual first sight the humans get mm. that Wurzel can move. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, the book opens with them going through the field, mm -hmm. which does happen later on because it's raining and they, they, get, his, they get his umbrella. Now, mm -hmm. apparently there's some continuity with the car here. That mm -hmm. you, If you look, they're facing that way. Yeah. And then, um, but yeah, in, in the wide shots, it's the other way around or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, not not sure, not sure about that. But uh, I like his little lamp there as well. Yeah, sort of. Um, yeah, sort of. Is uh, like like it's an old train one or something. Yeah, like yeah, it's like um or a ship's lamp maybe. Do do you, do we assume that this is John's um, school uniform tie? School uniform. What the, he's what wearing. He's, he's got his tie. No, not really. Well, did, did, my little boys didn't wear ties unless they know. unless they didn't have to. I know yeah. I didn't. No, I know. I don't know. No, he doesn't look like a school uniform. Well, I suppose it could be, but. Yeah, so I don't know. Just the, w w Susan's completely not in any kind of uniform at all. Well, no, no, but so. uh, yeah, because. But they, they do look remarkably alike. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Right. So they they work as a. They work as a brother and sister. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, as as we've said in sort of the Words of Gummidge piece we did in, was it episode ten now? Mm -hmm. That, um, in the books, John and Susan carry the first sort of four or five books, but then mm -hmm. you you. Uh, you get later in later books. It's other other people dealing mm -hmm. dealing with Wurzel. Well, of course, because obviously at some point John and Susan will get too too old. Too I old. suppose. Yeah. Um, and I think this just about works as a, as a seventies piece. Yeah. I think if you bought it back again now. Mm. Oh, this you, is a nice shot coming up. Yeah. yeah. You'd have to make it appear. Whoa! Piece. Look at that. He, he, yeah, he, he looms straight into the camera. Yeah. I wonder how many attempts that took. A lot. Took to get right. There you are. The car's the wrong way round now. Wrong way round now. You yeah. see. Yeah. yeah. Perhaps so his dad's backed it up and turned it round. He, well, he's done that remarkably well. well he's having cause... a pee. <laughs> <laughs> or not having a pee. Yeah. This is a nice shot mm. going in, zooming in on Jeffrey as well. Mm. He just, Jeffrey. he just, just gives a, a look, look. and yes. that's all he needs to do. And he's wonderful, Jeffrey Bowden. Yeah. I can totally see why he works so well as the Chrome. But man. yeah, he's got that real sort of mystery about mm. him, hasn't he? You know. Yeah. Uh, and it's helped tremendously by the fact that Jeffrey Bowden was an eccentric. Yeah, well, yeah. So, but is is uh, the Braithwaite? Yes. Yeah. And they're much cuddlier here than they are in the books. Yeah. None of the adults in the books are very nice. No, you, you don't think so. No. no. All right. And okay. particularly in some of the later ones, when we've listened to them, um, the one with uh, Saucy Nancy, mm. the adult in that is quite a nasty-sounding person. Yeah. Okay. But it's yeah. told from a child's point of view, and I think a lot of children find a lot of adults well, I th scary. Well, I think in the book, the whole point is that Wurzel. Although he's gruff and sort of off-putting, he's mm. still actually... Oh, there's Esme the Sheep. Esme the Sheep, yeah. Um, she was a bit of a pain, yes. apparently. She, she was used a... to butt people, <laughs> like she just did then. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, the, the idea is that, you know, Wurzel is, is, is in some ways more human than the yeah, humans, than the I humans, guess. Yeah. In, in some respects. And he, he, he engages a lot with the with children. There's a lot better with the animals, you yes. know. Like, cause, I mean, there's, yeah. a, there's one where he, he cuts the grass and he just mm -hmm. uses rabbits. And mm -hmm. I love that. You know, I don't know whether they attempt it. Uh, the farm hand here, he has got a bit of an air of Benny from Crossroads Slightly, about him yes. with that, with yes, that with hat. hat. Yes. Um, you've got the reference to um, um, John and Sue's mum mm. um, not not being here. Yes. So, yes. And there's there's no more in it than that. So. No, the implication is that she's died or something. Mm. They've moved away, yeah. but um, not not quite mm. sure. No, because. Uh, their dad keeps on going to the pub, doesn't he? He does. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for mm. for one, well, <laughs> not really hiding it very, no, very well. No, not very good at hiding. So. But yeah, I mean, he's certainly because yeah, Mike mm. Berry, as you said, is made up to look older here because yes. oh, this he, is pre I being served. Are you being served by by a, by a few years? And he's yeah. quite. He's not that old in that, is he? But it's the moustache, yeah. you know, and the, the glasses, and, and, and the, the jacket outfits. as well. Yeah. Just just yeah. just to age him up a bit. Yeah. Because he says this is well, like one of the first first jobs he did. First he did. Yeah. And he, he maybe didn't feel that confident, but I think no. he works really well. He does, yeah. 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 Um, I think, yeah. but then I think everybody works well. Yes. It's really yeah. well cast. It's a very well cast series. Yes. And yes, you know, doing it on film means you have got time to get it right, mm. and that that's the thing. And it makes it look better, more expensive. Yeah. So a quick so. quick trip into the village, and yes, yes Rudd's strong ales. 
mm-hmm. which may or may not be a reference to Lewis Rudd. Oh, I think it is. <laughs> Could be. But yeah, this, this sort of atmospheric stuff with the, with the, with the birds mm-hmm. going. And, and now they're, um, we're coming up to the rain scene and this mm-hmm. is where the book starts, basically. Yeah. They, 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 mm-hmm. they want to get the umbrella. Mm-hmm. Um, now, there's, there's, a, there's a thing in, in here about, um, what was it? Yeah, a, a team of 15 technicians and firefighters, a 2,000-gallon two ga- two water carrier and an industrial strength fan just to get the mm. get all the uh, the water, the rain sequences to work. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, I mean, poor old John here, yeah. absolutely caked in mud. Oh, well, yeah, I don't know if it's well, 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 make-up, make anyway. Up, you know, yeah. it, it's Full of dirt, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, well, whatever. Not, uh, not christened by and, anything. And this whole awakening sequence. It's quite creepy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah you can tell a bit it's fake rain in, in yeah. that, that shot, maybe. Mm-hmm. But later on, you, you oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, now, this is diff- slightly different. He mm-hmm. says, oh, why, and they run away. Mm-hmm. In the book, they just argue that you mm-hmm. said that. No, mm-hmm. they, they, they haven't quite worked out. No, it's Wurzel. Uh, yeah. the, it, you know, Wurzel is, is, is coming mm-hmm. alive. Now again, they they flip this round a bit in in mm-hmm. the book, as we'll see later on when Wurzel comes to visit, because um, mm-hmm. in the book it's Sue it's that that he visits, yeah. but yeah. later on it's going to be John. But here's mm-hmm. yeah, I love that this shot here because you've mm-hmm. got all the rain on the sort of hedge or whatever it is, and mm-hmm. slowly zooming in on it, and then you start you start to get this this is the like the coming alive mm-hmm. bit now. Is it, that's the thing. It, it's Im, implied that this is the first time this is happening, isn't mm-hmm. it? I, I, I guess because it really is a birth, isn't it? Yeah. But um, but maybe he's had a new head. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, that's the yeah. thing because again, the continuity over the whole thing doesn't necessarily mm-hmm. tie up with the books because mm-hmm. um, in the book he says he cho- he's chosen the name words will come into this morning. Mm-hmm. Um, but then there's there's a later book which is set before this mm. when he's when he's still wears a garment. But yeah, the whole lurching off the off the cross here, mm. which is what they said, it's it's almost like a sort of resurrection yes. symbolism, isn't it? Mm-hmm. it? And this is you know, as, as John said, this terrified kid. So a little bit of a day for night filming with a yeah, with a, a very blue around. very blue sky. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, not really fooling me even in 1979 I'm afraid no. but what was it you said the caravan looks it looks quite big inside then like... you look at it from the outside and it doesn't look that big yeah okay so it's just the way it's shot possibly yeah I think uh, John's so... reading the Beano here nice mm-hmm. little uh... but there's a few bits of sort of slide product placement here because later on mm-hmm. you see all the cardboard boxes and I noticed yeah. a few said things like spa and things like mm-hmm. that so uh... yeah I see what you mean about the the uh, the caravan, but uh, but then it depends if they're jammed up against the wall or not filming it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Or if it's actually in studio, which it probably is. I don't know. That's probably a set, isn't it? Because yeah. you wouldn't get you wouldn't get the camera moving. You probably wouldn't get no, no not I enough. Know. I, don't, I don't know, but yeah, mm. off down the pub again. <laughs> What's the line? Bring us back some uh, lemonade and crisps. Lemonade and crisps. Yes. And that's that's slight, uh, that always makes me think of Cat Weasel when he goes. Oh, it is mm. a scary shot of. Mm. Uh, Look at, look at look at John with his eyes and his teeth. Yeah, it was. I said to you, look, that's that's. I can see where um, because um, in the League of Gentlemen, mm. when Mark Gatiss does does, things, a, does a sort of leer. That is grim. very like yeah. that. It, that. He's when he's doing it, he's got that scene in his head. Yeah. I but think. yeah, there's, there's there's a cat weasel where he gets yeah. sent sent in the pub for crisps and pop. Yeah, and uh, it just made me think of that. So this mm. does actually appear to be John actually up on the up on the roof. Because yeah, they, yeah, he basically falls through. He does, but that's a very small stunt to do. Yeah, but they yeah. said they're a bit sort of worried about doing mm. something. Now apparently, you can see he's wearing a gold chain at, at some mm. point. I don't know whether, according to, according to the book, what's those bis- is that biscuits there on possibly. the on the chair? But that could have been a stuntman because you didn't see his face. Yeah, possibly. You Hang saw on. him on the roof, and uh, you saw him when I'll he gets s- out. I'll see what it. I'll see what it says. Here. That could have been a stuntman because it's shot entirely from the back. Okay. Um, so. Let's see, uh, John was keen on doing his own stunts. Um, mm. When he comes through the ceiling of the, the, the kids' caravan, that was very nerve-wracking for us. Oh. So, yeah. Okay. But, yeah, so his... He always did like doing his own stunts, John. So. Well, when, when he could do it. When he yeah. could, yeah. when it wasn't dangerous. 
Yeah, but yeah, mm. I, I, I don't, <laughs> trying to imagine Terry Walsh with the Wurzel Gummidge head on. Because yeah. <laughs> again, here you don't get any mention to the head swapping. No. That no. that turns up that I think, is, next week. Yeah. That is a complete television invention. Invention that doesn't yeah. happen in the books. No, no, absolutely. But that's not. what freaked a lot of children out, the changing of the heads. Yeah, yeah. So but but I, I like the thing that um, Wurzel insists on being called Sir, Sir here. or Mister Gummidge. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's got a slight sort of bit bit of pomposity. Yes. To him, yeah. I like the sort of blacked out tooth that you can mm-hmm. see as well. Yeah. But you can really see how the makeup in and whole costume really works though, because mm. um, the whole sort of straw stuff in in the hair, mm. and and the sort of twiggy fingers, the sort of run down jacket, which might have been. You know, the, the the jacket might have been fairly decent once, yeah. but but it, it's mm. so sort of it's so bedraggled now because mm. it's where's been, a, a, been a out beaten, and all Because yes. is this stuff on his chin meant to be a little beard? I guess I don't know. Well, is so it, I know he's got a few roots and is, things like that. He, his head's made out of a, a mango wurzel, yeah. so maybe it's just the rooty bit of the mango wurzel. Yeah, possibly. But yeah, you've, you've got the got <laughs> the thing about um, how do you sit down, and that's that's <laughs> taken from the book yes, as well. It's, I don't know if I can find it. Well, he's never a, done it, is he? So. Find, uh, find a picture. Oh, there he is. Um, mm. So there's there's sort of gummage. Well, this is by the by the time he's sort of uh, gone to sleep again. But there's there's gummage sitting down, and you can see his uh, his boots. Mm. Oh, we should say about his movement as well. Yeah. Um, oh, we we'll say that in a minute. He's just got the robin out, and it's, it's, it's a clockwork thing, which is mm. shedding feathers yeah. just to wipe his face. But yeah, in the books he's described as sort of walking sideways like a crab, like a crab with his yeah. arms stuck out all mm. the time. And that's the sort of thing, yes, you can put in the book. But, but it's very difficult but it, to it, do. But very, very yeah. impractical yeah. to do, um, mm-hmm. you know, to expect John Pertwee to w- walk about like that. Yeah. You know, there's, there's just... So inevitably you do have to change things yeah. for the book from sort of, of sheer sheer yeah. practicality. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the uh, another, another reference to the Robin, because he, he's mm-hmm. also got... Um, there's, the books say he's got a hedgehog that he uses as a hairbrush because mm. I think Hannah Harrow's got sort of tarred string and it gets a mm-hmm. bit caught. The hedgehog brush gets caught in her hair and bits of her hair come out. Yeah. And uh, the hedgehog's not too pleased about being covered yeah. in tar as well. Um, mm. But yeah, Wurzel's already taken a fancy to the to the jacket here. Yes. Um, so he's gonna. It's not the only thing he's he's gonna nick over the course of, no. course of the series. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then you've got you're, you're going to have the thing about um, sulking as well, and that mm-hmm. that that is that is true to the book. Yes. It, now in in the book, it's it's quite a gradual process because mm-hmm. um, they say he's he, he's got two states. He's like the 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 scarecrow mm. and the human version of him, and the transition mm-hmm. from one to the other mm-hmm. can be quite slow sometimes. Mm-hmm. I mean, with it here, it, it, it's mm. just just John pulling a face and and popping it, popping his eyes. But mm. um, again, if you were to do it now, you'd slowly mix yeah. to uh, you know a more inanimate version of it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, coming out the pub, um, is and it any any darker? No, no it's, not like really. it's about midday because <laughs> there's a shadow. You don't get shadows at night. <laughs> Sorry, day mm. for night filming mm. never quite works, no. but. Uh, yeah, um, now in the book, I think, is it Sue? Yes, Susan sort of falls asleep. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, she. so she wonders whether she even dreamed it at first, I, I, I think. Um, mm-hmm. But, yeah, there's... Yeah, had, had the scarecrow gone away when you came home? The what? What scare? Basically, what scarecrow? So he sort of, sort of disappears and mm. she wonders... Um, Gummidge here assuming that John is sulking as well, which I yeah. guess is, you know, from his frame of reference is, mm-hmm. is, is fair enough. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, he's, then you take the jacket on at this point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, there, there's some very interesting camera angles there just to, just to get things in shot. Cause yeah. Gummidge seemed to be shot quite a lot from John's point of view there, so yes. he was quite a tall, uh, tall figure. Excuse me, so there's somebody at the door. Get the front door, it's all right, I'll keep going. But we're at the breakfast table now, and uh, yeah, very nice sort of crusty bread here. But uh, wouldn't mind some of that myself. 
Are you right there, Lisa? Yes, sorry, it's a parcel. A parcel for me? For you. Oh, okay. Yes. We'll deal with that later. Then. Sorry about that. Thank you. It was an Amazon man. I see. Not an Amazon man, a man from Amazon. <laughs> Right, what, what did I miss? Uh, the they're just having on? the breakfast scene right. and the, the kids are going to sort of... Are they going to go off? They're and, going off, yeah. go off and look for... Because I suspect that Wurzel. it's Wurzel that's stolen all the clothes. Yeah, because they, yeah. they, they're saying, did you see anybody mm. sort of unfamiliar mm -hmm. here? So here's, here's, some, here's some nice stuff in the, in the, in the road. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Rose has come down Rose as well. Rose has come to see what's going mm -hmm. on. But, uh, yeah, there's bits of... Bits of uh, washing mm -hmm. just strewn about strewn everywhere strewn in the shrubbery yes. and yes. just abandoned here mm -hmm. um it's often the case that the hot words will, will steal things and then take a dislike to them and just throw, just them, throw away. them away yeah, yeah. you know because um, in a minute mm. you'll see him with a great big sort of bundle of stuff and, and he's he set up a carrying it he drops a fair bit of it in mm. in the first shot and then he just chucks it in the corner and mm. so you never quite find out what 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 was going to happen to that? Well, I think the idea is he wants to change his clothes, is it? Yeah, but... But, I mean, some of it's women's clothes. Yeah. And some of it's pyjamas, by the looks of it. And, yeah, so... <laughs> I don't know, he's just a bit light-fingered, Wurzel, isn't he? So. But, again, yeah. in the book, he sort of does nick stuff off the washing line mm. and stuff. So, yeah, we, we, we've got the... Uh, starting to see a bit of life in the village now. Mm -hmm. So there's the rubbish cart yes as you said which is a truck a yes. it's a rubbish truck yeah and we'll talk about that in, in a minute because mm. we'll, we'll see a bit more of that there's the policeman, policeman norman mitchell pump, pumping up his bicycle yeah and i, and I like i like words of sort of mm. you know i'm not doing anything wrong but mm. i can stare at you just to yeah. annoy you mm -hmm. and i don't think this is right this, this balloon that starts to come out yeah, of the, where, where does the yeah. Well, that's meant to be the inner tube of his bicycle. Oh, but, but it's a balloon. It's, it's, clearly, it's clearly a it's balloon. It's clearly a balloon. And, yeah. Uh, bicycle inner tubes don't work like mm. that. So it explodes, he falls mm. over and gummy runs, runs off. Now, the truck's already gone a fair old way up the road. It's yeah. just, you can barely see it. Mm -hmm. um, um, uh, there's a sign up there for something that's 19 and a half P. So mm -hmm. uh, can't quite read that. Something mm -hmm. about cat food, I think All it was. Right. I, I, I like this sort of horse... Horse, horse and cart thing here as well. It, it, it does worry me later on when in in a minute because they they um follow the the dust cart, don't yeah. they? And that horse is going to a fair Horse is galloping. Yeah, you'll see it in and a minute. Yeah, you got two kids well, in control the box of it. There's a that says "spa" in the oh, back of the okay. truck. But yeah, you got affect two kids. I, I mean, like, what if the horse didn't stop? Yeah, yeah. Well, so, yeah, it's not 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 nobody's. Nobody's stunting as far as I can tell. No. Well, yeah. they're, unless they're... Well, I don't see how you would do it. No, not in the wide shots. No. 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 no that, you'd... That's the thing. But, yeah, I, I lived in a village. We didn't have a truck like this to get rid of the rubbish. We had no. the council dust cart come round, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they're somewhere they really just, out of the way. They just dump it in a chalk pit. No, the geography's weird here because yeah. they reverse up. Yeah. And... Um, they they tip up the thing and all the stuff comes out and some mm. sort of gummage comes out and his head yeah. falls off. Mm -hmm. um, but if you look to see how he lands, mm -hmm. then later on when the um, when the crow man turns up, I, mm. I, I, it's as though they filmed it in two separate bits and sort of joined it together. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not entirely I'm not entirely sure, but oh maybe oh no maybe that's what, no that's mm. okay it, it doesn't you know it does work. Mm. <laughs> Was that something about cold? Or something mm. on there, and there's another box that says Gordon's Gin. Yes, so I just like the. Uh, if you see some of this, is actually on fire. This, this. Um, if you look, uh, yeah, there's smoke coming out of there in the corner. Oh, right, by, yeah. by, by Sue. Uh -huh. So, yeah, there, there's little tiny fires burning in amongst all this lot. It's a little bit. So dangerous. yeah, this is, this is again. This is you know so much for health and safety. Mm. There's the box that says Gordon's Gin. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, they just go off and assume that he's dead now. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, chuck the umbrella. Don't mm. want that. Um, so yeah, they're they're a bit depressed. Mm. Uh, bananas there as well. Yeah. Um, so along comes the crow man. The crow man. So yeah. yeah. Do you remember filming in a chalk pit, Lisa? Have you ever filmed in a chalk pit? Uh, I have with no, Nick and Paul. I don't think I ever filmed we, in a chalk We did pit. our Blake Seven mm. one there, and we did Genesis the Wogans in the chalk pit at Harnham, mm -hmm. which I think now isn't even a chalk pit. I think there might well be houses on it. I'm okay. not sure. So. Yeah. Yeah, but in the old days, uh, hmm. you were never far from a chalk pit in the country. No. Yeah, but mm. so yeah, putting mm. the head back on now, mm. and uh, yes, we can carry on with an adventure next week, yes. um, which is j just as well. Mm -hmm. um, oh, this will be a very short series. Well, I was going to say, at one part, 
So, so mm. I don't know quite why sort of John finds himself sort of up by the the field again. Mm. Um, we assume this is the next day, I guess. I Possibly, though they seem to be wearing the same clothes. Yeah. Um, and there mm. he is, back in position. And then I, li- I like the thing that they both say the other's going to cause them a great a deal, great of, deal of trouble. Yeah. Deal of trouble. Although the way John says it, mm. it's very. It, it, the voice is a bit sort of gruff and mm. and. I do wonder whether this is one of the earliest things to be filmed, as though he like hasn't quite decided on the voice. On yet. the voice, yeah. but it's quite it is quite sinister the way mm. he looks at you and just sort of glares mm. a bit. And there we are. There's there's the there's the episode. episode. Yes. And I think that's that's a very good promising mm. start. And I think I think you yeah. know if they'd only made the first episode as a pilot, mm-hmm. that would have convinced me that you yeah. you were onto something. Mm-hmm. Something very good. Always used to annoy me when he used to do that little dance in the middle. I'd say, you're trying to get on your on your sort of pole, get on with mm. it, you know, wasting time. But of course, it's just to extend the sequence. So yes, if it's the theme music. So if it's the theme tune. Yeah. And he puts himself on the post and mm. the eternal question, will he fall forwards or will he fall backwards? Mm-hmm. And this week, it's backwards. backwards. Southern Colour produ- Color Production, 1979. Yes. Yay. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Well, I really enjoyed that. I yes. Know, right? Thank you, but yeah. um, well, there's not too much mucking about <laughs> in that one. Um, M- there's no, about. there's no cream cake fights or getting messy or Aunt Sally. Yeah, not that I mind Aunt Sally, but she's not in the books that much. Yeah, so okay, but, but yeah, so um, definitely looking forward to seeing this in in much higher quality. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's nice to have the DVDs. But with the negatives now, I think we could be looking forward to something that looks lovely yes. indeed. Yeah, Blu-ray. I mean, I'm not quite sure who's left now to do well, commentaries, commentaries and We're available. <laughs> and things. But, uh, but let's just yeah. flash the books again. So. Wurzel Gummidge. And the Wurzel book. And maybe an extended one would be an idea. Yes, yes. well, there might be one coming out next year sometime. Well, well let's hope so. Let's yes. see. Okay. Be different bits. Bye-bye then. Bye.